Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Julian Baldo Cobello and this is K-Check. Hindi lang ito tagisa ng talino para sa ating mga contestants, ito ay para rin sa inyong lahat na gustong laging dagdagan ang inyong mga kaalaman. Every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. Samahin niyo kami until the final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatangaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Contestant number one ay si Kat na mula sa Kolehyo ng Arte at Literatura at sumasa ilalim sa programang Malikaing Pagsulat sa Filipino. She's also part of the University Student Council. Contestant number two si Inday na isang lumad at nabibilang sa etnolinguistikong Obo Manobo. Kasalukuyan siyang nag-aaral sa UP at kumukuha ng programang Associate in Arts sa malikaing pagsulat sa Filipino. Contestant number three si Alex, na isang BA philosophy student, a Thomist, and a Lanaval devotee. Contestant number four si Aileen, na BS Geology graduate from UP Diliman, at isa na ngayong research associate sa isang international company sa Makati. She loves volcanoes and science in general. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. And we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok ka tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Kat, Pyongyang is the capital of what country? China. Malay, North Korea. In Dai, how many years are there in two decades? 20. K-Check. Alex, how many legs does a mosquito have? Six. K-check. Eileen, Baghdad is the capital of what country? Iraq. K-check. Kat, when a queen celebrates her golden jubilee, how many years has she been on the throne? Ten. Malik, fifty. Indai, Wellington is the capital of what country? Answer is New Zealand. Alex, how many years are there in half a century? 50 years. K-Check. Eileen, what NBA team has LeBron James played for since 2018? Correct answer is Los Angeles Lakers or LA Lakers. Kat, in what continent can you find about 10 million kangaroos? Africa. Malay, Australia. Indai, what is the color of the hair or fur of a polar bear? Brown? <laughs> Malay, white. Alex, Brussels is the capital of what country? Belgium. K-Check. And Eileen, if you were celebrating your silver wedding anniversary, for how many years would you have been married? 75. Malay, 25. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. Saang <laughs> nakaraang... Uh, Q&A Ito, napataas nga ako ng aking sleeves, di ba? Kasi talagang hindi ako nakahinga the entire round. Oh, pero magagaling naman? mga ating mga contestants. Yes, May, malaki ang promise nilang lahat. Okay. okay. Ma'am Glessy, kamusta naman ang round na yan para sa'yo? Ay, naku, nakaka-stress pala yung ganyan, ano? Pero ang suggest nyo, enjoy, enjoy lang tayo, mga kapatid. Energy, energy lang. Focus. Go, go, go. Siguro mamaya, mamaya, ano ka, ano, ah. pwede kang ibigay sa kanila mga tips kung paano mawala ang stress. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, Hinga-hinga lang pag may time. Correct. Di ba ganyan okay. lang? Ah, relax. Thank you, Prof. Glessy. May question ako kay Alex nga pala, no? Sabi mo, isa kang thomist, no? At galing ka sa UST. Requirement ba 
maging Thomasian para maging Thomist ka? Uh, actually, you don't need to be a Thomasian in order to be a Thomist talaga. You just re need to read the readings of St. Thomas Aquinas and uh, many more na supplementary readings. Na. Okay. Ano ang top of mind mo na uh, sinabing ideology ni St. Thomas Aquinas? Dito, mapunta dito yung existence of God and uh, yung theories natin of justice and of course, pati na rin yung mga metaphysical na mga paniniwala natin. Okay, metaphysical. Can I am I? taking ako dito. Ah, ah. Uh, Daramdam ko ang mga na-share sa atin ngayon. Kumbaga ni Alex. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check! pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Si Kat ay merong zero pero hindi na panghihina ng loob. Si Inday naman ay merong 10 points. Si Alex ay merong 30 points. At si Aileen ay merong 10 points. Napaka-qualitative ni Ma'am Jules. Hindi niya in-order talaga yun. Hindi, ganun no? talaga. Dinigkas niya lang kung ano yung pakiramdam niya ay tama. No? Alam kong na-remind mo ako na parang aking nature ay very random. Correct. Oh. Anong tingin mo <laughs> naman doon sa mga makahabol pa kaya? Oo naman, kasi talagang warm-up. Kaya nga, kailangan siguro nilang itaas ang mga, ang mga sleeves, no? At nararamdaman ko lahat tayo dito ay maagang ating, ang ating gising. So, mamaya-maya, mag-iinit at bilib ako na makakahabol ang iba. Correct. Speaking of nag-iinit, Prof. Ricky, anong pakiramdam mo sa round na yon? Nag-iinit ka ba doon? Nag-iinit din. Nag-iinit din. Uh -huh. <laughs> O, tanong muna ako kay Inday. Okay. Kung pwede. Inday, pwede mo bang uh, ipakilala sa amin yung lumad na manobo? Um, yung lumad po, uh, ako po ay isang ubong manobo. Tapos yung lumad po ay um, sa Mindanao lang uh, nakatira. Tapos um, yung ubong manobo ay sa North Cotabato lang po. Pag isa kang ano, uh, ubong manobo, ano yung kadalasan na characteristics nun? So to separate from the other communities, Inday? Um, Siyempre po, um, nandun kami sa bundok na katira at um, yung pinaka-takaiba po siguro sa amin yung kasuotan namin. May mga kasuotan po kami sa so, ayon pa. Okay. Maraming salamat, Inday. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants... Pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin! Born in Nepal in the 6th or 5th century BC, which religious leader had the original name Siddhartha Gautama? Alex. Gautama Buddha. That's correct. Kitchen. Okay, Named after a native god of winds, what wind from the southeast brings heavy rainfall during the rainy season. Eileen. Habagat. Katie. Most references say that the world's largest monolithic rock is Uluru or Ayers Rock, which can be found in what country? And the answer is Australia. Okay, next question. Which male music artist interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech? Aileen? Can you ask? Okay, check. I'll just finish the question speech at, at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards. Next. In the game Dungeons and Dragons, a player might use a die in the shape of an icosahedron. How many faces does an icosahedron have? Okay, the answer is 20. Next, in October 2021, the parent company of Facebook changed its name to what? Okay, Aileen. Meta. Okay, check. In the current PBA season, what is the European nationality of Magnolia Hotshots import Nick Rakocevic? Rakocevic. 
Okay? Nobody got that. The answer is Serbian. Next, Arthur Conan Doyle's first novel, A Study in Scarlet, introduced which fictional detective who rose to become one of the most portrayed characters on film? Alex. James Bond. Correct. Eileen? Um, Sherlock Holmes. Kitchen. Okay, let's move on. According to Guinness, what bird runs the fastest on land, reaching speeds of about 45 kph? Eileen? Ostrich. K in 2021, which male sing singer teamed up with Daniel Caesar and Givion for Peaches, with Chance the rapper for Holy and Kid Laroi for Stay? Nobody got that. It's Justin Bieber. Okay? We are down to the second to the last question. Okay? Breathe in, breathe out. The question is, what term is given to the horseshoe-shaped belt about 40,000 kilometers long at the rim of the Pacific Ocean? Aileen? Pacific Ring of Fire. Okay, check. I'll just finish the question. Where many volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur. The last question for this round. Which boxing champion who visited Manila in late September never lost in 50 professional bouts? <laughs> Alex. Muhammad Ali. Eileen. Mayweather. K-Check. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Aileen with 150 points. Kasunod si Alex with 30 points. Si Inday has 10 points. At si Kat ay hahabol. No? Grabe yung ano yun. Di ba? Parang energy ng mga contestants. Yung ikaw yung nagpa-facilitate. Ang daming nangyayari sa aking utak. Uh -oh. Salamat naman at napanindigan ko yung pagtatanong. Kasi minsan gusto ko sa pagod. Mm. Involved masyado. <laughs> <laughs> ikaw, Prof Neil, involved ka ba dun sa last na round na yun? Well, super involved kasi nakikinig ako sa mga tanong at nagtatry akong sagutin. I think nakasagot ako mga kalahati dun sa mga tanong. Pero I think na sobrang napabilib ako ni Aileen. Eh? Sa round 1, 10 points. Sa round 2, 140 points. So I think, overwhelmed ako sa performance mo. Gusto kong malaman, paan mo pinaghandaan ang K-check performance mo ngayong araw? Um, to be honest, wala po ko masyadong tulog. <laughs> Pero I read some trivia questions, ganyan. So, yeah. So kung sa madaling sabi, stock knowledge lang pala. Ang karamihan, wala. Okay, okay. Pero may mensahe din ako para sa tatlong contestants. Hindi pa tapos ang laban, meron pang round 3. Okay, so, laban lang. Laban, laban lang. lang. Tama Push naman lang. Yun, no? So, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Recap muna tayo. Mula sa pinakamataas, we have Aileen na walang tulog with 150 points. Tapos si Alex, okay, na nandyan pa rin ang energy with 30 points. At ang mga humahabol at palaban pa rin with Inday with 10 points at si Kat with 0. Okay, ako kay Kat talagang itotodo ko na. Ay, lahat na talaga ng kailangan kong isama yes. sa aking energy uh, ay ipapasok ko na sa aking aura. Yes. May tanong ako kay Kat, no? Uh, ano magiging strategy mo ngayong gustong-gusto mo talagang manalo, di ba? Kasi random natin eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi the fact na hindi pa napaghihinaan ng loob. <laughs> hindi ko po alam. Parang go in the flow lang. Okay, go, go in the flow. The flow. Okay. Nabanggit mo kanina na USC ka, University Student Council ka. No? Anong role mo doon sa USC? Uh, ako po yung committee head ng People's Struggles Committee. Pa. Pakikibakang pang masa. Tama naman. Okay. Support, spirit, support. No? Okay. So, we'll find out kung sino sa kanila ang mananalo, no? Sa ating ultimate pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 
30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ng kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers around na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. Let's begin our third round. Prof. Neil, question number one, please. This refers to the rigid racial segregation and political domination of blacks. Alex. Apartheid. Okay, I'll tapusin ko muna yung tanong. Okay. This refers to the strict racial segregation and political domination of blacks implemented by the National Party Government of South Africa from the late 1940s to the early 1990s. Tinapos ang rasistang patakaran na ito nung panahon na naging pangulo ng South Africa si Nelson Mandela. Pinangunahan niya ang partidong African National Congress. Ang tamang sagot ay apartheid. Okay, maraming salamat, Prof. Prof. Glessy, question number two, please. Ang pangalawang katanungan. Kayo ba ay taga Maynila? Pwede rin namang hindi, pero masasagot nyo to. The city of Malabon was named after this plant. What is the name of the plant which gave Malabon City its current name? Saan ipinangalan ang city of Malabon? Anong halaman? Halaman, pangalan ng halaman. Ang sagot po natin ay tambobong. Ang tambobong ay, ay isang uri ng kawayan. No? Parang isa siyang uh, uri ng kawayan. Siguro meron din ito sa inyo sa Mindanao. Ano? Iba lang ang tawag. Ano bang tawag ng kawayan sa inyo? Um, may bolo po. May bolo. Bolo. Iba-iba rin. So, dito ang Malabon ay ipinangalan ipinangal sa Tambobong. Yun po ang sagot. Thank you so much, Prof. Glassy. Prof. Ricky, question number three, please. Okay, sa so sciences naman tayo. The science that deals with the structure of matter and the interactions between the fundamental constituents of the observable universe. Alex. Chemistry. Okay. Eileen. Physics. H. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Prof. Neil, question number four, please. Which U.S. president saw the collapse of communist governments in Eastern Europe Alex. and the dissolution of the Soviet Union? Ronald Reagan. No. Eileen? John F. Kennedy. No. Tamang sagot ay ang 41st U.S. President, si George Herbert Walker Bush. Prof. Glessy, next question please. Ang tanong natin ay batay sa babasahin ko ha. Meron ba kayong mga, dali, mga kamay o daliri? Pwede kayong gumanyang-ganyan. Ang tubig may malalim, malilirip kung libdin. Itong budhing magaling, Maliwanag paghanapin ang tubig may malalim. Okay. This old Tagalog verse, often in monorhythmic heptasyllabic lines, speaks of values or a view of the world. Ano ang tawag sa Tagalog poetic form na ito? Katsalangka. Hindi, hindi talang ka. Sounds like malapit na. Tanaga. Inday. Tama. Ang tawag ay tanaga. Tanaga. Oo, ito yung sinabi ng mga Espanyol nung unang sapit dito na maganda bagamat hindi tula. Kasi hindi ganun ang bilang nila. Pito kasi sa atin eh. Sa kanila, walo kaya dose. Yun. 
Kaycheck. Thank you, Prof. Freaky. Next question. Science says a short and sweet. What is the smallest unit of classification of living things? Alex. Cell. Ang tamang sagot, species. Thank you, Prof. Freaky. Prof. Neil, next question. Anong lungsod sa Pilipinas ang may bansag na Asia's Latin City? Alex. Zamboanga. Ang tamang sagot ay lungsod ng Zamboanga, Asia. Thank you. Prof. Glassy, next question please. Susunod nating tanong ay, What is the meaning of Jose Rizal's Noli Metangere? Ano ang ibig sabihin Helene? ng... Touch me not. Tama ang sagot, K-check o huwag mo akong salingin. Thank you, Prof. Ricky. Okay, science again. What is the type of ecological succession in which plants and animals recolonize a habitat after such major disturbances? Ang tamang sagot, Secondary succession. Secondary succession pala yun. Okay. Last round of questions, Prof. Neil. Yeah. Huling tanong mula sa akin. Ano ang kabuang bilang ng mga riyon sa Pilipinas? Nung pumasok si Pangulong Duterte noong 2016, may kabuang bilang na 18. Sa unang taon ng kanyang pamumuno, tinanggal niya ang 18th region. Ang tawag ay Negros Island Region. Ang tamang sagot ay 17. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glassy. Narito na muli. Uh, ito ay tungkol sa isang libro. This religious material was considered as the first book published in the Philippines. Eileen, Doctrina Christiana. Okay, check. Tutuloy ko lang ha. It spearheaded thousands of other devotionals that paved the way for the natives' colonization through Christianization. Ang sagot ay Doctrina Christiana. Okay, check. Prof. Ricky, huling katanungan. Okay, sa chemistry tayo. What is the type of chemical bond where two atoms share a pair of electrons. Ang tamang sagot, covalent bond. Maraming salamat sa mga tanong. And that's the end of our third round. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Eileen, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 225 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Thanks to Kat, Indai, and Alex for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Prof. Neil, Prof. Blessy, and Prof. Ricky. This is Julian Baldo Cubello. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.